trying. Where are you going? I'm going to bed. I'm whipped. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I do something wrong? Brian, I know you helped Diana a lot with her waitressing job today. But your own job didn't get done. I know. I'm sorry. I'll look. I'll do it first thing in the morning, okay? You had all day. I know. All right. You helped Diana, which helped me, and you saved her job. But still. Look, I'm really tired Brian, right now. Brian, I need those guest rooms painted. This is my busiest time of the year. I'm booked solid. I need all my rooms ready tomorrow. All right. You're right. You're right. I told you I'd have them done, and I do. I have them all done except for one. I'll do it right now. Don't worry about it. Hope I can stay awake. Wonder if Diana realizes how much that man loves her. And that he'd be willing to sacrifice anything for her. feeling in my heart. Come to me. I need you. <sighs> I have learned so much from everyone in this room. My mother, my wonderful brothers. But the people who taught me the most are new friends. I mean, they only came into my life just a, a few years ago, but they, they changed my life forever. Ivy, Rebecca, you have taught me so much about life about love, about how to get what you want in life. You've taught me so very much. And that's why I want to treat you all to dinner tonight. Just spill everything to me. Mrs. Julian Crane. Hey. Hey. The music, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, is it too loud? Did I wake you up? No, no, I, I just sort of woke up. Bad dream? No. She expected the help. Oh. Oh. So, uh, why are you working so late? I gotta get this done. After all you did to help me today, you must be exhausted. No, no, I'm not. I'm not too tired. And besides, it won't take me long to do all this. Well, why can't you do this tomorrow? Because this is the busiest season down here. And Liz needs this room by first thing in the morning, so. I think Liz would have had you do this before tonight. Wait a minute. You were supposed to do this today, weren't you? 
You couldn't because you were too busy helping me. No, it's no big deal. Yes, Brian, it, it is a big deal. You saved my job today. Now you gotta stay up all night so that you can finish yours. Look, it, it's really not a big deal. It's not so bad. I mean, I've worked harder, believe me. When the albacore running, stay up for 48 hours straight. You're a very thoughtful, caring man. But you're just all together wonderful. How dare she claim to be Mrs. Julian Crane? I am Julian's wife. Well, that's absurd. It, it certainly is. I am Mrs. Julian Crane. <laughs> Better get ready, Sam. You may have to step in. I think you're right. It's payback time, Ivy. Look at Ivy and Rebecca. They look like they just got hit by a train. Oh, God, if only. You stop this, Teresa. You stop this right now. Stop what, Mama? You don't need the crane money. That's right. You don't want anything more to do with the cranes. They have hurt you enough, Teresita. Just look. We're your family, okay? We'll take care of you. And from now on, I am gonna take care of you. I'm Mrs. Julian Crane. And I have enough money to support a whole family for the rest of our lives. No, please. Don't think that way. You mustn't ever think that way. I have a baby to think about now, Mama. I mean, isn't that what you keep telling me? That my baby comes first. Yes, but I didn't mean Mama, for you... you told me to give up on my dreams. To stop hoping that Ethan would come back to me. A and Luis, didn't you tell me to stop believing in fate? To focus on reality? Well, this is my reality. I am married to Julian Crane, and I am carrying Julian's baby. And I need to be able to give this child what he or she is entitled to. And I'm going to do just that. What's Teresa doing? I don't know. Where my lawyer? Do something, for goodness sake. What? I don't know what Teresa's doing. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? She's trying to lay claim to Julian's estate. I don't think Teresa's like that. Oh, she is exactly like that. And you have got to put a stop to it, to her. I don't believe what I've heard. Wonderful, isn't it? The plan I gave Teresa is fool. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, what are you doing here? Oh. I just want to see if you're a little chap. Whitney changed your mind. Are you going to forfeit your chance to be with Ethan the way she blew hers with Chad? You could, you know, if you find what I propose to repugnant. Or you could seize the opportunity I've put before you and take control of your life. Now, I admit there are a few little unpleasant tasks to be completed along the way, but by the end of it all, <sighs> Ethan will be yours. It's entirely up to you, my beloved. And she took the bait I held out. Mm, Ethan. Teresa doesn't even know it was zombie charity disguised as Julian. Mm, correct him, Tim. Yes, Teresa is going to take down the entire crane family. <laughs> Beautiful thing is, she doesn't even know it. She also doesn't know that she has just opened the door to chaos and suffering for the entire town. I'm just getting started. Wait to see what happens next. <laughs> I just I had this feeling wash over me, this terrible feeling. Something is wrong. Something is very wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing? Well, you helped me with my job today, so now I'm gonna help you with yours. Oh no, you're gonna go back to bed. You're as tired as I am. Look, we'll both get to bed a lot sooner if we work on this together, so may I have some paint can, please? Paint, please? You need your rest. If you keep arguing with me like this, we're just gonna have to be here all night. All right, all right, fine. I should know better than to argue with you to stop you when you've got your mind set on something. You set. I need to talk to you. Oh, well, uh, about what? Well, I know your premonitions are stronger than mine, and I was wondering if you were feeling anything tonight. Tonight? Yeah. No. Uh-uh. See, I'm having this terrible feeling, and I, I feel like evil is here. I don't feel anything evil in Greece. Oh, you see, I just feel like whatever is going on with Teresa tonight is going to cause terrible pain for a lot of people. <sighs> Gee, and Grace, I don't sense anything at all. good that's gonna do her you think she's gonna suspect the evil's her sweet niece mm -mm. but you're not even really cherry yes but nobody knows that except for you Tabitha and Kay and you're not gonna talk now are you Timmy because you know that would be very dangerous <laughs> we won't say a word No one's gonna stop me. <laughs> no one. Oh, just wring that girl's neck. Girl? She's not a girl, she's a scheming slut. Oh. Two of you please calm down. How can we calm down? There is too much at stake here. We are not going to let that little gold digger get away with it. Teresa. Ethan. Teresa, I know you've been through a lot, but I think there's a different way to deal with all this. I don't know what you mean. You're not really married to Julian. Oh? Look, Teresa, you told me you don't remember marrying him. You said that he got you drunk and that you don't even remember what happened. That when you made love to him, you were thinking about me. That's what you told me, isn't it? Yes. So you never really married Julian. It's not a real marriage. Now, you said it was a, an accident. It was a horrible mistake. Look, Teresa, you know I'm representing my mother contesting the divorce Julian got down in the islands. Yes, I know. Well, this has been kind of hard on her on Ivy. Look, I know they never really had a perfect marriage, but I know she's been his wife for over two decades. They, they had three children together, and that means something. Oh, yes, it does. Well, she's been his wife. You know, she deserves what's rightfully hers. 
I know you understand that. Ethan, what I know is Julian divorced Ivy down in the islands, and he married me, okay? And on our wedding night, he got me pregnant. Those are the facts. Yeah, but Teresa, it's not a real marriage. You, you never loved Julian. Are you trying to tell me that your mother did? Ethan, she had another man's child. And then passed you off as Julian's son for all those years. Ivy to see Julian every day of their marriage. I cannot believe I'm hearing this coming from you. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, I am Mrs. Julian Crane. And as Julian's wife and mother of his child, it's my right to claim everything that I'm entitled to. Everything that's rightfully mine. If I'm wrong, but isn't he after here to get the ale and Um, that would be the concept, yes. Well, instead, you seem to have splattered it all over my face. Splattered? No, I would call that right there on your face a dab. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a dab. This is a splatter. Well, thank you for pointing out that distinction. No problem. What would you call this thing? Uh -huh. That would be a squiggle. Uh -huh. You know, that is a lovely color on you, oh, I must say. Oh, with your skin tone, I'll just look at the things out your eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <gasps> oh, so that's how you want to play, huh? Yeah, yeah, you started this. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. See, you got your face in the way of my pink <laughs> bro. Get the pink of this! <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you guys, um, we're all heading home. So soon? It's turned into a very interesting night. Yeah, well, I just hope things don't get worse. I have no idea why Teresa's acting like this. What do you think, Mama? I don't know. We've talked to her, but she's not listening. Well, maybe we can get through to her at home. Yeah, I hope so. Air. I gotta get some air. Oh, hey. Excuse me. It's all right. You okay? Yes, thank you. No, you're not. Whitney, I know we're not supposed to be talking to each other right now, but just tell me what's wrong. Well, my best friend is acting crazy, Chad. She just was in there saying she was Mrs. Julian Crane. That's what's wrong. I mean, what in the world got into her? Well, maybe this is just a crazy way for Teresa to try to get Ethan back. You're not serious, right? Well, think about it. I don't need to think about it. There's no way this could ever help Teresa get closer to Ethan. In fact, you could push him further away from her. Enjoying your evening, ladies? You don't stand a chance of getting away with this, you little tramp. Everyone knows that I am Mrs. Julian Crane. Oh, please, I am Mrs. Crane. I was married to the man for over... You were his ex-wife. I am the rightful Mrs. Crane. Please, your claim would be laughed out of court. What, Julian married me after he divorced you and after his sham of a marriage to you was annulled. Let's talk about that, Rebecca, shall we? As much as I hate to agree with Ivy, she is right about your claim being tossed out. Your marriage to Julian wasn't legal, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. When Julian married you, he was still legally married to me, and he still is. 
Your pathetic little marriage was wiped off the books. The annulment wasn't valid because Julian slept with me. And my being pregnant with this child is proof of that. As for you, Ivy, you know very well Julian divorced you down in the islands. The divorce wasn't legal, and I will prove it. Just give up, both of you. I'm the real Mrs. Julian Crane. And I would appreciate if you both moved out of my house. What? You heard me. <laughs> Your house. You have no right to be there, and I want you gone. Both of you. Tonight. Do I make myself clear? This is going exactly as planned. But I think I need to up the stakes just a little bit. Cause an explosion? Yes. Yeah. That's what I'll do. <laughs> what does she mean by that, princess? <laughs> Don't ask, Dad. But Timmy is asking. What does princess think zombie is going to do? I hate to even hazard a guess. But I'm sure it's going to be even more horrible than we can imagine. What did you do where you used to live? There's not. I don't so are you feeling any better? Yeah. No more uh, premonitions or whatever it was back then. Well, I hope it was nothing. But you know, it was strange. I did feel that something was wrong. But when I talked to Charity, she said she didn't sense anything. So let it go. Right, yeah, Charity, uh, Charity's premonitions, too. Hmm. But hers are much stronger than mine, and she's very attuned to evil. But, you know, she said she didn't sense anything, so it's probably nothing. Look. What? John and Jessica. It really hasn't taken them any time at all to bond. But then they are brother and sister, so... You know, I was so devastated when I lost my baby. It really means a lot to me to have another son. God answered my prayers. Look, David, if John isn't really my son, please let me know. I have to know. Well, get moving. You both got some packing to do. <laughs> you will pay for this. Oh. 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 You will pay. Mother, what's wrong? I can't, I can't breathe. Uh, Dr. Russell. Uh, uh, Dr. Russell, please, my mother, she can't breathe. Sweetheart. like the housekeeper's daughter finally got the best of you. Never. That tramp will never. Ironic, isn't it? You lied and you plotted and you schemed to try and destroy Teresa. You left father because you thought you'd have a better deal with Julian, and now here you are. He's doing the same. Gwen, why are you talking to me like this? You have no home, you have no money, so from where I stand, Teresa wins. You sound like you're on her side. No. I'm on my side. Which means I want no more of your plotting, no more of your scheming, because it always backfires. You are wrong, Chad. I mean, there's no way Teresa's doing this to try to win Ethan back. No, think about it, all right? What's Teresa's motivation for everything she does? Ethan. But this is so completely over the top. It makes no well, sense. Why are you saying that a plan's gonna work? Right, I'm just giving her props for trying, that's all. I mean, she certainly doesn't do anything halfway. She doesn't go back and forth. I mean, even when the family was telling her to give up Ethan, here she is, trying to get back the man she loves. That's commitment. And she's doing the same thing. You know, trying to go after your dreams. Love. 
But now you just sit back and listen to what your parents tell you to do and ignore what's in your heart. What is that zombie going to do? Where she got planned? And where did she go? It's just questions. I don't know where she's gone or what she's going to do. I'm afraid we're going to find out. Oh, oh no. No, I'm not going to let that happen. No way. No, I am never going to let that little bitch win. What? That's the spirit, Becky. What? You go, girl. What that sounded like? You always were a fighter, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca, dear. Oh, oh gee, look at that. You missed a spot. Oh, you think so? We woke up, huh? <laughs> Why on earth are we gonna get all of this paint off of us? Oh, there's only one way. Wow. Come on. I didn't even know this was here. I remember when that was taken. God, that was such a fun party. <laughs> and just a really good time. That was the best. But those times are over, Louise. I know. Just seeing the picture it brings back all those feelings again. I was so happy. Hey. You're gonna be happy again. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Beth, what are you doing here? Well, Hank invited me. I told her to come on by after she closed up the book cafe. Mm -hmm. He promised to buy me a drink, and I'm gonna hold him to it. <laughs> well, figured we could have a beer, talk, you know, have one of those good times. And as far as Teresa's concerned, I mean, she's going to do what she wants to do, whether she's right or wrong. I admire that. Yeah, I know, I know. Teresa always follows her heart and doesn't always do what her family wants her to do. You keep telling me that over and over. Because it's true. You know, my parents just want what's best for me, Chad. They got a pretty good life, don't you think? And they just want a good life for me. Why is that such a horrible thing for you to understand? Whitney, you're not getting what I'm saying No, 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 here. you're not listening to what I am saying to you. They just don't want me to be hurt or go down the wrong path. That's all. Oh, define wrong path. I mean, if you do what your parents want you to do instead of what you know deep down inside you want to do, isn't that the wrong path? You know, I'm not going to have you talk about my parents like that. My parents are perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, Whitney, but nobody's perfect, okay? I mean, look at your dad's temper. I, you've seen how crazy he's gotten with me. We've both seen that. L listen, my mother is perfect, all right? Always. All right, and I'm not saying otherwise, Whitney. It's just sometimes, all right, sometimes what appears to be perfect on the outside just might have some big flaws on the inside. How's she doing? She'll be all right. Good. I'm going home. Maybe things will be better tomorrow. Good night. I don't know about that. I think things are going to be a great deal worse tomorrow. Once those DNA results come back and everyone finds out what a truly horrible person you are. I am warning you, Eve. Change those DNA test results. Or... You think that you can destroy my life by telling my family about my past? 
and playing that tape of me singing. And you think that you can tear Grace and Sam apart by having David pretend to be Grace's husband and the father of her child. And, and what is actually happening, Ivy? It's blowing up in your face. God, I hope Teresa does take the crane money and the crane name and you just are left with nothing. Because that is absolutely what you deserve. I'm worried about you, sis. Don't be. How can I not be? All right, I'm not sure what you're doing well, is I'm right for sure. you. Well, I'm sure. And that's all that matters. No, Teresa. This is not only about you. We are your family, and it affects all of us. Why can't I make you understand that? Why can't you trust me, Mama? Because you are playing with fire. Well, I will promise you one thing. I am not the one who's going to get burned. Aren't you going to say anything, Rebecca? No, no, oh, oh no, oh, oh. oh my God, no. No, you're gonna haunt me, aren't you? Oh no, you're gonna try to drive me crazy? Oh, what an imagination you have. I'm not going to hurt you, don't be frightened. You're the one I loved when I was alive. You know that. <laughs> I'm here to help you. Uh, how? By telling you who killed me. Who killed you? I'm going to tell you who my murderer is. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break, pink man. I got nice, fresh baked. Oh, that water. Oh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a late night swim, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, you, uh, <laughs> you missed a spot. Where? Did you get it? Yeah. Race you to the buoy. <laughs> This will be fun. Hang out just like we used to, huh? Yeah. All right. Whoa. Beth, I'm sorry. I didn't even know that you were coming. And I've actually got to go back out on patrol, so. Oh. Well. OK. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I guess duty calls. Yeah. Well, I'll see you soon, OK? Mm -hmm. Hey. Pleasure. <laughs> As always. Thanks for trying, Hank, but uh, I can't compete with a ghost. It's time to make that ghost disappear. I've never met anybody quite like you, Ivy. You're so totally heartless. Always trying to destroy everyone's happiness. Do you have any idea how devastated Grace is going to be when she finds out that John isn't really her son. But she doesn't have to be Eve if you will just do as I asked and change the DNA test results. No. No, I won't. I won't do it. <laughs> we'll see about that, Eve. I have a feeling you're going to do exactly I've got to know, David. If John isn't my son, please tell me now. <gasps> Jessica! Yes? <Yeah. Sorry. laughs> what happened? Oh, God. I slipped on a piece of ice. Luckily, John caught me before I hit the ground. Oh. Well, thank you. For what? That's what brothers do, isn't it? Look after little sisters? 
Quit fooling around, you guys. Come on. He's always in such a hurry. <laughs> you know, David, I'm... I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. I mean, to think that... You know, John is my son. I know it in my heart. And when those results come back from the DNA test, the whole world's gonna know it. This is gonna get really good. I just set something up that's gonna cause more pain and suffering than these goody good folks can handle. <laughs> Modeling about. Now pull yourselves together. You don't want to miss this. So how do you think this is going to turn out with Ivy, Rebecca, and Teresa? I don't know. Too bad Julian's dead. He created this mess. If he was here, he could clear this whole thing up right now. That's a good one, isn't it? Me wishing Julian were here. And Julian may not be here. But you can still arrest his murder. Attention, everyone. I know who killed Julian Crane. Chief Bennett, I want you to arrest Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald for the murder of Julian Crane. 